Welcome to my channel. In this video, I take an eBay guitar and turn it into an Elvis-inspired mosaic guitar. Here's how. In November of 2018, I sold this mosaic guitar at my local gallery, and it turned out great. So when I received a commission to make another one, I knew the steps to take. I would need some cool pieces to put on the guitar, so I found these online. An Elvis coffee mug, a necklace for the king of rock and roll, a set of coasters with Elvis hits, and this Elvis wind chime. Crazy stuff, huh? The color palette was 1960s rock. Turquoise, red, black and white, and gold. I was going to cover every square inch, and that's a lot of territory. So I prepared the guitar, I took everything off, filled all the holes, and sanded the surface. Then I began to mosaic the neck. First I cut and put all the different tiles and glass on, including mirror glass. Also I added a black and white border to the neck. I needed to make the records more durable on the mosaic, so I covered them with many layers of resin to protect them. The body has a metal image of Elvis in the center. Under it is a cool cup handle, which fit perfectly. Also here is where the king jewelry piece sits. Here's the bottom of the front coming together. Notice there is a ring of ball chain around the edge of the front. The records are getting placed here and trimmed with classic black and white. Here's most of the front finished. Many days to get here. I used a cool Martin Cheek Fusion on the top and some turquoise beads, so the top is done for now. I used lots of different mirror glass colors to give the edges of the guitar a constant sparkle. Perfect for the king. Meanwhile, I started working on the word Elvis which I made from children's letter magnets. I covered them with gold leaf and then applied resin so they would have a permanent golden look. On the back side, I used the coffee cup Elvis as the central piece and two more records on the bottom. The neck received a fun treatment as well. After two weeks of work, I was ready to grout. Grouting was a matter of taping things I did not want to be covered, and then cleaning and buffing the mosaic. So here is the finished piece. And here is the happy owner. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the process. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!